you've got traffic from the interstate merging into the roundabout. Some drivers say it's tough to know where you're going. The mayor says he wants to see a change. They're crazy. I mean, you feel like you're going to get lost or something. It was a little bit confusing. It doesn't work. You know, please, NDOT, fix it. It's the East End Roundabout. <laughs> where drivers on Highway 62, 265 and Port Road all meet up. Something definitely have to have to really watch what you're doing, you know, when you're in them. The Indiana Department of Transportation put in these roundabouts to help with traffic flow before the new East End Bridge opens at the end of the year. If everybody knew what the other person was thinking and was going to do, it might work. But Jeffersonville Mayor Mike Moore says the roundabouts are creating more problems than they're fixing. Problem is, you've got big semis coming down with little compact cars. The compact car may have the right of way, but the semi's in a hurry. To me, you're just asking for problems. INDOT says the roundabouts are a work in progress, not the finished product. It says the contractor handling the project will install upgraded signs sometime this month. My fear is it's a Band-Aid trying to fix, you know, a major artery break and it's not going to fix it. The mayor says the lanes are narrow and the curves are sharp. So you can put up all the signs you want, but if you've got a large semi trying to make a, a semicircle and he can't remain in his lane and maneuver that turn, you're going to have cars getting sideswiped. Some drivers agree. It feels like you're going to get run over or smashed. But others, like Zach Cotton, think the new roundabouts just take some getting used to. Well, once people get used to it, I think it'll, it'll really go over really well. But, but for right now, until it uh, goes over, until people get used to it, I think it's going to be a, a, a mess. Emily Maha, WLKY News.